Hello everyone, this is James. Welcome back for more Minecraft. Now, last episode, we got the farm done, the automated farm, and now we are also getting started with the other farm, which is going to be the Iron Golem farm. However, that's going to be taking a little bit long, longer than, uh, well, like an episode, so I'm probably going to have that in the back burner while I do some other stuff. Now, the thing is, when it comes to actually, you know, doing stuff, um, I do need to explore a little bit more um, in order for me to explore a little bit more. Of course, I gotta get food ready, and I was waiting for my farm to actually be done, like, you know, making things. Um, well, making things, when I say making things, I mean, like, actually, uh, you know, actually growing wheat. Um, this time, uh, however, I'm gonna let it just grow out as, you know, as I do things. And see how well it goes and if it's growing a little bit too slowly then uh i'll see if i can do something else um as i as of now like as i seen it uh there was no torch here and it made me think that it was not growing any uh it was not growing these two plants but since i put a torch down now um it should be okay to, it should be good to go now um i'll just see how it goes uh, usually, uh, sometimes, actually, the wheat likes to take its sweet time when it comes to growing stuff. Um, other than that, there's really nothing else that I really want to do. I did say in the last episode that I want to carve this out and make it into a little waterfall kind of area. You know, just make it a little, uh, a little bit beautiful. But I kind of wait until I get some better tools when it comes to digging that out. Right now, I got seven diamonds, but I want to hold out just a little bit longer. Because I don't really have a library planned out. I want to pick a really good place to just place the library. I was thinking about just extending this hallway out this way. But then again, I kind of don't want to do that. So, yeah. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, put some stuff away. And get ready just to explore. Also, I'm going to go ahead and screen cap this. To know where I'm at. And now, I am pretty much ready to go. I do have to say that the compass in this game, it only points out the uh, spawn point, like, where you actually spawn in the world. So it doesn't really help you, like, where you want to go. I wish the compass actually uh, told you, like, hey, um, you know, you can, like, put a pinpoint, like, you can pinpoint, like, where exactly you want to be at. And then, or pinpoint where, uh, like, what the location you want to be at. But then I guess that'd be a little broken. And it, it would be a little redundant since we have uh, coordinates in the game, so it doesn't really matter at this point. I'm actually going to go this way because I feel like there's planes this way. I, I don't really have anything to back it up um, whatsoever. But in a way, I also see like a jungle, like an actual jungle over here. So I'm actually hoping to see a temple and, you know, yoink some of the redstone that's in that temple. Because when it comes to temples, they have uh, dispensers and they have, what else? They have... Uh, Pretty much redstone pistons. I think they have sticky pistons as well, if I'm if I remember correctly. At the very least, I know they have pistons, so those would be pretty nice to actually get. I think I'm gonna try to stick to one part of the path and just well, not one part of the path, but one direction. And I think this direction is southeast. I think. I don't know if this shows you. Oh, it's telling me I'm facing south, and I guess this is east. Uh, I'm going more southwest. That's fine. I guess that was the end of the, uh, jungle, actually. These jungles are actually pretty scarce. It's kind of, kind of saddening because of a way that I could, because I could have had a, uh, jungle biome, or a, uh, jungle temple, actually, and I never got that, so, yeah, that's fun. But I do see a plains biome over there, and that could actually spawn in a village, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually get over there. And, uh, see if I can actually find a village. And then I can actually lay down the groundwork on actually, uh, building a railway system from the village to my golem farm. The only thing is, though, it's just uh, the iron I need in order to actually, uh, in order to actually, uh, move, uh, get the railroad system to actually work. Great. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> I just saw the village right there. I was about to walk past it, too. Uh, let's see what's going on here. I'm actually going to sleep real quick because it is turning nighttime. I, th I thought I was going to be walking for days. I guess technically I did walk for a day, but uh, not really. I'm going to go ahead and check this out. I'm probably going to kill some cows as well. See. Ooh. Okay, that's fun. You know what? I have an idea. 
gonna go ahead. I'm gonna pretend I didn't say I was gonna kill the cows. And take this milk bucket. And I'm gonna actually switch swords because that sword's about to break. I was gonna use the, the my broken sword to kill animals because they don't have any reason to kill me. And I'm gonna actually lure these guys away from the village. Okay. I think this is a good enough area because when you kill one of these villagers, I do I guess it's the guy with a banner, you will actually get a bad omen and that can cause a raid. Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, so you got voluntary exile. Alright. And I do get a feeling... Oh, it's an hour. Wow, that's a long time. An hour and 39 minutes. I don't know if milk does get rid of it. If it does, then that's kind of sad. Oh no, okay, cool. It gets rid of it. That's good. I, it's like I remember playing a modded version of the game and it did not get rid of that bad omen. So I'm just like, okay, cool, great. But I guess it does get rid of it in the vanilla. I guess something was counteracting it. So yeah, don't worry about it. I'm actually going to go ahead and get more milk from uh, these uh, cows just in case. But it should be okay. It should be okay. I get a feeling actually um, if it does bug out and actually does raid, I'm probably going to set it on peaceful because I just, I would actually feel cheated if that's the case. But it looks like everything is okay. Uh oh, well, okay. <laughs> All right. I guess, uh, I guess that doesn't cause me to have a bad omen. So if the uh, iron golem does something about it. Now, when it comes down to these um, villagers, one does have to think that like how many villagers I want to take. I don't want to take all of them because I do want them to reproduce and just re yeah reproduce, um, reproduce uh, the numbers here. So this is this is actually a pretty big village too. So this is nice. Sometimes it's like the villagers are just too big and all that, and it's just it gets kind of dumb. So yeah, there's that. Hey buddy, how you doing? No, there's nothing, actually nothing here. That's cool. Got some bread, a potato. I'm gonna leave those in there. I'm gonna see what else I can find here. I do believe if I take the villagers outside or just like take them out of the village area, they would actually uh, be, um, would pretty much be taken away from the, uh, pretty much the overall population of this place, so. I got that going. Uh, what do you have, actually? You have 24 paper for an emerald. And you have 26 potatoes for an emerald and one emerald for six bread. These are not bad trades. Um, this is why I kind of want to get the ones are, that do have bad trades and just go on from there. Alright, this place is not the best because it doesn't have a lot of treasure. But hey, we found a village and it's just like due south to where we're at. It's not too far, which is nice. I'm actually going to go ahead and um, see how far this place is when it comes to my farm. So right now, we are going to be... Let's see, let's see, let's see. So right now, we will say negative 750, right? Negative 750. And let's go all the way back to our farm. This place is, like, honestly just really weird how everything is just, like, shaped. It's like, it's like, this is a stony shore. And then you got this right here, which is so weird. It's like, I really love the generation in this, in this world, actually. It's just really awkward. And um, I did say uh, I was going to go straight to my base after I found that village, but uh, I got, I got, I am keeping in mind that it's going to be 750, or negative 750, and then it's going to be, like, somewhere around here. But like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the railroad uh, strat and just trying to get everyone in there, because that's going to cost a lot of iron for me to actually do. I kind of want to opt into um, just, you know, using Brewing Stand, making some Potion of Weaknesses, and just uh, going on from there. Because I do believe when it comes to Potion of Weaknesses, uh, I think you make an Awkward Potion, and that's not Nether Ward. It might be Nether Ward, but it's like I'm thinking of the one that you don't use Nether Ward on, um, and I'm probably going to have to look up the recipe for everything. But um, uh, it's not another wart, but it is, I do believe, either spider eye or fermented spider eye. It's probably fermented spider eye. In order to make fermented spider eyes, you do need a spider eye and a mushroom and some sugar. The only problem is I don't have any mushrooms. I do believe it needs to be a brown mushroom. I don't know if it matters or not, but 
yeah, finding mushrooms is actually kind of weird because I don't really find any mushrooms in anywhere anymore. I think the best place to find mushrooms is like swamps or the uh, mushroom islands. And the mushroom islands are really rare, so there's that. But um, I guess I'll just keep on exploring until I actually do find some mushrooms. And even then, I'm probably not going to make fermented uh, fermented spider eyes at that moment. I do. I want to find the mushrooms and then actually make a farm out of it, and you know, not having to worry about anything. And there's a forest fire. All right, cool. I'm just gonna leave that alone and not care. I really like that with the uh, bamboo actually, because the bamboo is really useful when it comes to building tall objects. And I really love building stuff like that. It's it's a lot better than just using dirt to go up and down and all that. It's just it's a lot better. Oh look, another village. I don't know if this village is actually further away or if it's uh, closer. I think it's about the same distance. I think this one's actually a little easier because uh, of the flatland of and whatnot. So I might actually maybe go for that, possibly. Um, also, I did not find a jungle biome whatsoever. Kind of sad, but it's fine. I kind of want to explore the jungle just a little bit more, see if I can find anything. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, hey, it's a, uh, a nether portal in the jungle. Yeah, that can never go wrong. Um, let me just make sure it's not trapped. Yeah, it's not trapped. They, I don't think they're ever trapped. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, golden pickaxe, golden shovel, silk touch, actually. That's pretty interesting. Uh, flint and steel, and some iron nuggets. And I guess I'll take the flint for whatever reason. And we got boss protection. I guess I'll just put that on my head. Why not? And I'll take the last flint and steel. And should I, uh, should I take this chest? Uh, I think I should. I don't think I need torches in my inventory. Oh, I will take that. And there you go. And I guess there's a good way to actually get some, uh, some either obsidian, some netherrack, and maybe magma cubes in a way. Not magma cubes, uh, magma blocks, I meant to say. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm surprised there was like no lava, like lava placement anywhere that would actually burn this place down. It's pretty interesting. It's, what a weird place. Uh, I might actually take that gold, maybe? No, I'm not going to do that. Not with a stone pickaxe. I, I guess I can't mine that right now. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just leave it there. Um, actually. Oops. Okay, I'm just seeing all the buttons. You know, I'm just seeing everything. Help. Okay. Try that again. There you go. Okay, let's get going. At least I found that, you know, but that's not the thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for a uh, temple. All right. Um, so... A good amount of time has passed, and I am also been in the middle of recording or editing episode 3, and episode 3 is a little short. So I decided to go on a little bit further, and in between then and now, I actually did a little bit to my house. So I got berries growing on both sides so it can actually be lit up here. So I, I don't know if I need these torches around anymore, I, I'm not too sure, but... Um, I got these lit up and all that. I'm gonna leave these unchanged for now unless I have a better idea. I put some moss carpet here, you know, just a little welcome mat. And it's a little bit more different. I, uh, I pretty much, pretty much, uh, made the ceiling a lot better. And now the front of the house is basically done. I still have this I gotta actually do, which I'll, which I'll do in the, in the future. Because I need to move these chests somewhere else and, um, I'm not there yet, so... <laughs> Yeah, but I got the roof basically done on the lower end of the house. And I did not do anything up here, but I do have my waterfall here now. I got more, some more moss carpet. And up here, I got more moss carpet. I get a feeling that this is spreading, but I'm not too sure. I don't know if I put that there or not. Also, I got a little, uh, I got a little uh, thing here to... Uh, it's just there. <laughs> So I have a few options on like what I want to uh, do next. Uh, one option is to actually make a storage room for uh, for all my uh, blocks that I have, which I'm probably gonna go for. I can go up here and actually make a little furnace room and uh, see if I can do anything there. Uh, oh yeah, also down here actually, I made a made a staircase going this way, and it's a little uh, food storage area that I have made. And also I I love how I threw like. Stake in there, but I didn't do anything about it, but that's okay. 
Um, I don't know where I got more emeralds. Oh, yeah, I was... Okay, so I was also trying to find a village, that, that one village that I saw at the end of the uh, jungle. But I didn't know where I was going, per se. So I think I'm going to go there in a little bit after, you know, I just make the foundation with the furnace room or the storage room. I'm probably going to do the storage room first and see how that goes. This is probably going to break on the first block. Okay, second block, third block, fourth. It's going to break soon. Well, it's gonna break sooner or later. Okay, there it goes. Um, yeah, so I want to make the storage going down there and um, just see where it goes. Um, I also want to make some TNT just to get the mining, uh, cut down the mining just a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. I got more bones, which I'm gonna turn into bone meal. Um, we get the flint steel. That I totally did not make. Where's my TNT? My TNT in here. It is. I got, I got a little bit more sand. I, I think I'm going to make a, a few more TNT blocks, actually. The only problem with sand is that... I really, really don't know... If there's a uh, infinite way to get sand. Albeit, sand is pretty, uh, it's pretty common. Also, I don't know where I put my gunpowder, so that's fun. Oh, well, I got four here, so I, I, I guess I'll, guess I'll, uh, take those. What about this? Okay, there. I got 33 in there. I think I just got 33. I don't know how much I need, but, uh... Also, I don't know how to make it in the first place. I don't know if it's like this. Like this? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, so... I'm gonna go ahead and make... I'm gonna make four of these. I am hoping that I do not knock down these, uh, the logs. However, the TNT is actually pretty good in as of now because of the fact that it, when it breaks blocks, it will give you all the blocks back. It's not like back then where it's just like oh hey guess what you're gonna lose some items or you're gonna lose some blocks while doing this but now you don't have to worry about it so there's that okay i just want to mine this part out just in case because i don't know if the blast radius is actually going to reach these logs if it does i don't think it's a problem um i just got to be a little bit careful when it comes down to you know just everything uh other than that i think everything is going to be okay so we'll see how this goes so, I'm actually gonna set it as such. I'm gonna set, like, one here, or maybe two here, actually. And do this, and pop. See how that turns out? I think what I'll actually do, actually, in the future, um, when it comes down to, um... Uh, like, future hallways, basically. Um, I think I'm gonna, like, actually not have these uh four by whatever hallways maybe um if i want to make some man-made hallways then i can just definitely just use tnt and just go on from there but other than that i believe this is a good start when it comes to the uh storage room i, I don't want to work on it too much i think that next time you guys are going to see this i think you're going to see the um i think you're going to actually be seeing the uh basically the floor from here other than that, I do have like one more thing to actually show you guys and then I'm actually going to be going through uh, pretty much the enchantment table and the diamond pickaxe because I kind of want to do that now and then just um, just work on a library in the background like I am doing with the uh, like I am doing with the, uh, the, the, the iron golem farm. So I got one more thing to show you. Um, it is concerning with the moss blocks actually. And I've learned that you put one moss block down, and if you put bone meal on it, this is... I did not do any testing whatsoever, by the way. I don't know how this is going to actually treat it. You can actually make more moss blocks, and also moss carpets and all that. And also you can get some azalea bushes, which I did not know that. So, and also you can actually spread this around. I don't know, it looks like it does spread to dirt too. So, just having this around is actually a pretty nice, uh, it's a pretty nice, uh, how should I say, addition, in a way, I don't know, um, but I kind of like it, it's really nice. 
Um, let's remove that. And yeah, so I can I can actually just make this spread out through it the whole thing and just go on from there. And I don't know if these azaleas are actually gonna grow naturally. I don't know if they grow naturally. I'm not too sure. I haven't really done any uh, research on it, but it does transform uh, it transforms dirt and stone into moss blocks. And it's a good way to get moss if you ever need moss. Also, I have some moss actually trying to grow up this way, which is pretty neat. Anyways, I won't be doing that too often, though. I don't really need the moss as far as I know. I don't know what you need moss for, but um, in the future, uh, that's good to know, actually. And moss is always good to actually have as a building material or something to just make the, make the land around it just a little bit better. I kind of want to make the library right there. I think that's a good spot for it, so... In as of now, I'm actually going to dig a one by two hole if that makes sense. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, I'm going to dig pretty far in here because I kind of want to do something with the enchantment table, and that's pretty good. Now let's dig out a little bit more. Let's dig in a little bit more. Let's dig in until that there's no more light. I think that'd be a pretty good one right here. Okay, okay, that's good. Two, three. Four, five. Eh. Cool. Maybe right here would be good. So. so right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, actually, it gives off a light. It gives off a light. I didn't know that. Pretty cool. I didn't know jamming tables give off light. But the bookcase itself is actually going to be like right here, basically. But what I want to do, actually, is to actually... I said that twice now. I actually want to have this hidden in a way where it's like the bookcases are hiding it. And you flip a switch and it lets you in. I really want to do that. So I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a man with words, am I? Now, when it comes to bookcases, I don't know how much I need. I'm just going to think 12 or something um, and go on from there. 12 bookcases might be good enough, um, but if we do need more, then we can always get more. But I'm going to see like what we can actually get right now. I'm just going to look. I'm just going to look. Uh, we can get efficiency one and we get unbreaking one. I don't think that's good enough. So let's not do that. And we also need lapis. So there's a reason why we got to get lapis. But what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to be going to the village that we saw at the end of the jungle. The place that we have never went to. I got my bread, okay, and I got bed, I got bed, and I got my money, and I got some, uh, I got every, I got everything I need, basically. But what I'm going to do is, I, I did some, uh, I did some, uh, looking back on my, uh, previous footage with, um, earlier in the episode, because, like I said, I record... Every so often, I don't record all at one sitting and, you know, just trim it out and hope for the best. But, you know, I, I, well, I still hope for the best when it comes to recording, hoping, like, it's at the right time. But if it's not at the right time, then, I mean, oh well. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure the uh, second episode is, like, 38 minutes long, and that's a little too long, but it's okay. But I will see you guys when I get to the village, um, if I know where I'm going. <laughs> I also like to actually point out um, this little landmark right here that looks like shark teeth, basically. It doesn't look too much like shark teeth, but it resembles like shark teeth right here, um, in a way. You see the little teeth right there? It's actually a really good, uh, a really, really good, um, how should I say, a, a, really, a, really, a really good way to know where I'm going. Um, so, like, if I see that, then, then uh, I'm, I basically know where I'm at and I just need to go that way. Kind of want to make a sign just saying home this way, but I feel like in the future I'm going to be spreading out a little bit more, and um, I'm actually going to be uh, it's actually like home's going to be everywhere. Kind of want to kind of want to have that kind of thought in my mind, saying, "Oh well, home is everywhere. I don't really need to worry about anything." So yeah, but uh, we are getting there to the village. I will see you guys there. Like I said, that's right here. Oh hey, what are you doing here in the in the wilderness? It's just like there's no, nothing here. Let's see what you got. You got fern, sugarcane, axelia, saplings, oak sapling, orange dye, and packed ice. I don't really need any of that, but I'm okay. I'm gonna actually walk around this ravine. Um, I, I recognize this ravine too. It's the one I almost actually died in. So I'm just gonna walk across here. Oh, there's iron down there? 
Uh, I'll get it later. Oh, wait. There's a there's actually a portal here. Um, I'm probably gonna keep this in actually. Um, I didn't see this portal last time. Um, I was just I I was just like beelining somewhere over there. I never actually tried to look over here. It's pretty interesting. I wish I had my diamond pick and I would mine this, but I didn't do that. Oh well. So we got more obsidian. Oh, I didn't put my obsidian away. Oh, oh well. The more obsidian, a flint steel, got some fire charges, got some iron nuggets, and a flint. Okay. I've been finding a lot of nether portals, like, you know, just dotted throughout the area. I get a feeling that those kind of, those kind of structures are pretty common to see. And I think it's because it's just like, the loophole on them is just not too good, because you get gold and all that, and that's it. You get some iron nuggets, but, you know. Not too, it's not too good, it's not too bad, it's like, whatever. Okay, we're coming up to it. Oh, I see it. Okay, it's right there. Um, oh yeah, because I also said, oh look, I found the plane, uh, the, not the Badlands, but like, um, the Mesa. And the Mesa is really good with, uh, gold, actually, so. This game, like, recently, I don't know if it was, like, the, not this update, but the last update. I don't know if the last update increased, increased the amount of gold you can find, or if it increased it, like, a like just a few updates ago, but they give out a lot of gold and with good reason. So because I mean, I th in my in my opinion, I think they make gold a lot more valuable, like when it comes to certain certain uh, situations. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, this is also a cleric, which is doing this. I feel like clerics always have the same thing. It's like it's always it's always 32 rotten flesh and then two redstone. Okay, uh, apparently that is it with the village here, which is not the best thing in the world. Um, yeah, that that's kind of disappointing. Um, I'd rather, like, maybe explore here just a little bit, just to see what I can find, and then, like, maybe do something else for a little bit. I'm actually wondering if there's, like, an oasis in this game, uh, like, in this, uh, biome. I, I, I can't say game, actually, but not too sure. Uh, ow. Let me up there. Oh my god. Okay. I got trolled. Let me in. <laughs> Let me sleep. Okay. <laughs> that could have been real bad. I wasn't really uh, thinking about that. Man, this desert is really, like, big. Aha! There you are. I was looking for you. I didn't know where you were, but, like... I really need a library. I really do need one. I've been exploring for days and days. And then I took a break and then I explored some more and I didn't find anything. So getting this village, having having this village, just having, yeah, I <laughs> can't talk. Please have a library for me. Please, so I can steal stuff from you guys. I am begging you. I've been here for the longest time. It looks like you guys have a furnace area, so there's that. Got in here. What is this? Oh, oh yes you do. The cat was a librarian. This is mine now. Ah, okay. God, it spooked me a little bit. So we got nine uh nine book uh yeah, we got nine bookcases actually. Um if just gotta include wood in it. I'm gonna leave that there for now. I don't know where the librarian's at, though. Is, are you the librarian? Yeah, you look like one. Um, so, an emerald and a book will give me Aqua Affinity. Eh, not really, not really uh, vibing with that. Sorry, boss. But uh, what's in here? Oh, we get some cacti. Get some wheats. Some bread and a book. Man. No, oh, he's probably looking in there saying, Oh, what happened to my bookcases? Yeah, I'm well, sorry, man. I need the books. Sorry. <sighs> Oh wow, there's actually um there's actually a temple here too. Oh god. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I will run in there. I will run in there, of course. And I'm gonna put my bed down because I know for a fact I'm gonna mess this up sooner or later. But I'm gonna run in there and I'm going to steal everything. <laughs> That's my goal. Also, I get a feeling that the underwater segment is kinda well not the underwater segment, but the uh, basement segment is underwater. So, there's that. Oh, I just realized, I have no room whatsoever. So, uh, let's get rid of some stuff. Let's get rid of a few things. 
There we go. Get rid of that trap. And let's get the TNT. Uh, let's see. I don't need the stone pressure plate. I really don't need that. And let's go ahead and build up. Let's go ahead and just throw these blocks in there. Okay, well, put that there. Other than that... Fun. Yeah, the torch right there is fine. Dude, I'm getting so many, so many emeralds. Uh, you can have the dirt, the sand, the chiseled sandstone. I'll take the gunpowder and the bones. I guess I'll take the spider eyes too, just for uh, fermented spider eyes. Wow, nice. I think I'll leave the horse armor here because I don't really have a horse. I'll take the saddle though. Um, I guess I'll put the saddle there. Mm -hmm. I think I'll take the string too, actually. Um, here, you can have the sandstone. What's this? Smite? Uh, I don't know. Smite's just for the undead, isn't it? It's really not going to be useful. And the last one is that. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping for uh, some diamonds, actually, but I guess not. Yeah, nonetheless, we got a good amount of gunpowder out of it, too. So, and TNT. So, we got that going. So, there is that. Um, I will say, though... Well, I'm going to leave the crafting table there. Why not? I will say, though, that... It was a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. But, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. Alright, we're finally home. Uh, so... What I'm gonna get started with is... What should I say? Um, oh yeah, let's put the books all together. I'm actually gonna make a few more books. I got more leather. Did I kill more cows? Or did I just take the leather with me like an idiot? I think I did. Oh well, it's fine. What I really would love to actually have is like rotten flesh just be used as, you know, you can just like dry them out and, you know, get leather that way. I know, I know a mod actually did that. But, um... It's not in this one. It's not in the vanilla. Oh well. That's fine. Not really. I'm actually kind of seething. But what I want to do is I want to make a few more books. I think this is enough books actually to actually get all the way up to 30. Um, so I'm actually going to drop some stuff. Um, I'm actually going to take this and I'm actually going to take the sugar cane. And I'm going to go ahead and make some paper. And some books. So I got 40. I can make 13. So this is... I feel like this is just enough. You're not going to turn all this wood into planks. I swear to God, if I, if I walk in here and I see a creeper just chilling out, I'm going to be mad. Okay, cool. There's no creeper. Why would there be a creeper? I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I also got more TNT. I can just blow up the storage room just a little bit more. Yeah, you don't hear me saying that all the time. But, um... Oh, actually. Uh, kind of built this up. Built this out a little bit too far, I guess. But that's fine. Okay, that's not what I want to do. Uh, you know what? I got a question. Got a question for you. Uh, can a shovel with silk touch actually get rid of, not get rid of, but like, can it pick up the whole block? I wonder. Um, where is it? Here it is. Oh yeah, it does work. Oh cool. <laughs> Thanks. What a really weird thing to actually do with the shovel. Anyways, I don't know. Probably not. It's probably, uh, it's probably just like how anyone else would do it. Okay, I'm just going to do the first row, see how that goes. Um, oh, I actually need more than 12. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. I guess we'll cope. So it gets all the way to 18. There's Fortune 1 in here. What about a, uh, what about a diamond pickaxe? Uh, let me go get one, though. Let me go get a diamond pickaxe real quick. Actually, let me just, like, place these down, at the very least. And uh, I don't know how high up it can actually reach. So I guess we'll just... Put, oh, I'll put one there. Why not? All right, I got my pickaxe and I got a book as well. So let's go ahead and see how much this diamond pickaxe can get me. I'm breaking efficiency. Okay, so what if I just break this? I break this and I put it back down and then I put this in. It looks like it doesn't change. Hmm. Okay, what about a book? You get smite, power, and piercing. That's great. Kind of want to just like. 
maybe just do the uh, enchantment with the diamond pick and see uh look at this efficiency three efficiency three is actually pretty good um yeah i might just go for it uh yeah oh my god fortune two on breaking three and efficiency three that is really good you know what i'm okay with that i'm actually okay with that i'm actually gonna i'm actually gonna make a diamond sword and actually put it in to see what i get um i'm probably not gonna go for smite or bane of arthropods because those are really specific uh enchantments for specific mobs but i do believe sharpness uh, actually does damage to the whole uh, every mob that is real good i cannot lose this i cannot lose this pickaxe now i need to keep it forever now question now i have a question when it comes to like making netherite stuff i don't know if the enchantments carry over to the uh, netherite version of the pickaxe or if it just breaks and then i just gotta enchant again i don't know if that's the case but i do want to put mending on this i really do but i feel like it's too expensive now i kind of maybe screwed myself over but uh i mean it's whatever so what we get with uh diamond sword oh yes we get guaranteed sharpness three that's good that's real good we gotta go for it we need to go for it. We are literally required to go for it. Sharpness 3. Okay, that's fine. It gives me more damage output, and I'm okay with that. 9 attack damage. And, yeah, that's like 3 more damage, so I'm pretty set. Um, I think I'll save these iron swords for, like, you know, just maybe uh, backups when the sword breaks. But this is our, these are our first diamond tools. A diamond sword and a diamond pick. So I am definitely going to be going down, back down to the mines and really just picking stuff up. But um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the uh, diamond ore veins that I found right now, which is like two, and just go on from there. So I will see you guys down in the mines. Uh, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to be doing. Um, So yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys there. But anyways, uh, here are the first stack of diamonds I found, actually. This was eight, I think, but now it's reduced to uh, five, it looks like. And not eight, I mean seven. Maybe, maybe it was seven. I'm not too sure. Uh, Let me... Uh... I want to not use my pickaxe too much, so let me just uh, let me just go ahead and just clear some of this out. Okay, so as of now, there are four diamonds, as we can see. There's five diamonds. Okay, so five diamonds. Here we go. Go ahead and mine these out. Okay, there's six diamonds. <laughs> All right, there you go. So out of the six diamonds, how much do we get? Eleven, which is pretty good. So now I'm going to be going to the vein that I know for a fact is like 8, which you can see all the way down here. I'm just going to jump a little bit faster. There I am. Okay. So this is 8 diamonds, okay? And I made sure there was nothing underneath it, so we are pretty safe. So let's go ahead and mine this. Starting from 8, coming from 11, actually, so... Alright. From 11, we get to 20. So, 8, 11, 20, that's just 9 more, so that wasn't as good, our chances weren't that good. Oh wait, there was more diamonds down here, okay, oh god. So, 23, okay, that's a little bit better, <laughs> I was about to say. Anyways, that is pretty much what Fortune 2 is, if we had Fortune 3, we could actually get a little bit more, but uh, we can work on that in a little bit. Um, we can actually use this for redstone too, actually. Uh, do I have a... I do have some water. We can use this actually for all the ores that we have. Actually, I never went this way. I gotta be mindful, like, where I'm at, also, because I don't have a shield. Also, I hear a zombie, which is nowhere around here. I hear a spider. I want to test out the uh, sword that I have. There you are. Let's go ahead and test the sword out. Oh, well, dead in three hits. Oh, God. Okay. Dead in two hits. And let me test out the skeleton. Three hits. Okay, so it's basically three hits with the spiders being two hits. So we got that going. Um, Yeah, but this is really good. This is actually a really good setup now. It's, the grind has been really tough. Well, not really tough, but... We got a lot of spiders around, actually. Um, but I'll worry about that later. But coming from redstone, actually. I know I did say I was going to end this off, but I do want to see what the redstone would get me. Be 18. Not too bad. 
and I'm going to 25. It's not too bad. Um, it's really hard to tell because I don't really know what the average drops are with, when it comes to redstone. And I'll get some gold as as well. I don't know if I got four. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. So I'm getting a little bit more. That's good. But I do want to get... What the hell's going on here? Okay, maybe it was like three heads. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I got a crit on it. I'm not too sure. But it uh, doesn't look like there's anything else here. I didn't... Yeah, it looks like I did miss like a few things here. That was two heads. I'm actually not going to be switching through iron anymore because... Uh, not really interested in doing that. So, there's that. We, we have finally made it when it comes to actually being good. I'm, I should probably eat some food. But next time on next time on Minecraft, as I play so many torches, we are actually going to be going to the nether. I'm probably going to be dropping my sword and my pickaxe, the uh, diamond sword and diamond pickaxe, because I don't know what the nether is going to be like. So it's going to be pretty interesting. I know in my previous Let's Play, I got to the nether <laughs> on episode three. So yeah, it, it's a little bit... So it's a little bit like, how should I say? It's a little bit slower, but it thank God it's a little bit slower, because now we are, we are, uh, we are, we are, we are doing good. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.